Hello, welcome to Take Your Time. In this video, we are going to take a look around the life cycle components of a custom view. So whenever you add a custom view to any activity or any fragment, the first call that comes up is on attached to window. I, at this point, uh, your view, what is going to get attached, it has a surface where it can draw itself. So be it a window of activity or a fragment. Now the next thing is measure and the third thing is on measure. I will take a look at both of them together. So uh, what happens here in this case? So basically uh, measure and on measure uh, they are called one after another and you have to understand one thing that the view hierarchy in a custom view all the views all the parent views and their child views they uh, come uh, in a top-down manner in a tree now one at a single level there can be multiple children for a particular parent but deep down it will be happening in a tree now the first in the first case anytime a parent view wants to draw its children what it needs to know it needs to know where its uh, child want to get placed and what are its desired measurements measurements as in height and width so at this moment uh, when this measure call uh, measure call is happening parent views wants to know the wants to understand their uh, their child uh, their children's desired uh, uh, desired specifications and then when it understands then for each child uh, the on measure call gets uh, invoked where if every child uh, uh, every every child after after this on measure every child under every child uh, lets its uh, parent know that this is my specifications and these are where I want to get placed in the view now afterwards call the call that comes up is layout and on layout so these two are uh, more or less same so before coming to this layout call the your custom view and it's all its children views they know that where they want to get placed and their specification so layout and on layout both of them after uh, their responsibility is to uh, attach uh, attach uh, uh, those uh, specifications or measurements to all the views so that now uh, your uh, your view can be drawn now comes your dispatch to draw at this moment your view group uh, invokes this method to uh, let all the parent view know that okay now you can draw your child views and accordingly your draw and on draw gets called where all the parent view and their child view draws themselves in your uh, custom view window now this is in a nutshell how your uh, custom view draw custom view drawing works now whenever we uh, remove the custom view there is another method on detached from window that gets invoked after after which uh, your custom view is no longer visible and your custom view does not have any window to draw its children now uh, what we can do uh, i'll just do one thing I'll just uh, open up the Android Studio and show you one little app that I made. So um, here, if you see right in this uh, custom view, what I have done is I just have a inflate call for this custom view, and there are few methods on attach to window, on detach from window, on layout, on measure, dispatch to draw. All these uh, methods I have just overridden and I have just put a log and I have uh, uh, given good amount of documentation for all of the methods and I'll I'll just uh, 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 share this uh, code base with you so that you can also go through this now there are few things like is this or uh, this on measure that can uh, it can be called several times it uh, your you have to understand your parent views can call it multiple times maybe first time they call it uh, by you know by passing a parameter which uh, essentially means that uh, it is not passing any specific measurements to its children maybe it's just 
wants to know from children where what is children's desire rather than passing any value to children and afterwards maybe in the second time when uh, it understands that okay all the children now gave me the value where they want to place but after uh, after arranging all those according to their preference i feel that my view is uh, no longer can be accommodated in the window size so in that case maybe uh, as a parent view i will again figure out and understand and maybe tweak little bit and in that time i will pass my measurements to the children so uh, from a parent view perspective this method can be called several times but remember one thing whenever you are overriding this method you must call this set measure dimension afterwards uh, after uh, which your overridden method gives a proper definition to the uh, width and height for this particular custom view so uh, that's it now uh, uh, let me just run the app and uh, see uh, and let you uh, and show you this uh, uh, all these logs one after another so i'll just open the log cat and the uh, build is now uh, running so as soon as this is completed we can see these things actually i can just stop it and uh, i can just open this app from here okay i have opened the app and now if you see that the first call just uh, uh, don't think about these two these two i have added previously request layout so i'll just talk about them after uh, once we complete this so the first thing you can understand that on attached to window gets called then on measure called several times then your on layout comes and then your dispatch draw comes up now uh, this request layout uh, is something uh, it, it it this call can happen uh, also whenever uh, let's say there is uh, one particular attribute for the view that gets changed afterwards your custom view no longer uh, uh, knows uh, or uh, or your custom view requires more uh, screen uh, more width or more height into the screen so in the in that case maybe your custom view requires uh, a more layout window so in that case request layout may call up or even you whenever if, if you say that if you anytime call this method let's say invalidate if you call this you again uh, your uh, system will again call request layout so these are the things that those are there now what i will do is uh, i'll just push uh, this particular branch so that you can go through as well and you can tweak and you can understand more as well and also i will just uh, give a link to this uh, uh, this particular uh, uh, web you know documentation it's a very handy documentation for a uh, view just go through them to understand a little bit more if you want to and this is the best thing you can find uh, in, in internet about a uh, view in developer.android.com so uh, that's it for this video in the next video probably we will see uh, custom attributes uh, in custom view and uh, make sure that you uh, like or share this video if you feel that this is going to help you and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that you can never miss any update from my side uh, thanks bye see you soon